we're talking about Phoenix. What we do see in the beginning shots is the predominance of a new technique seen in Lensman, CGI, flowing down, or at least it looks that way. With the assorted sounds of fire, a tragic story comes. It's kill or be killed. Gao is a bad man, at least at first. A story which asks, why do we live? What is our purpose, our goal in life? Why must the living die, or rather, live to die? There's a lot of Buddhism here, and a lot of tragedy. It's a contest of two men, in this Rintaro directed piece, based on a magnum opus manga, something that Tezuka called himself his life's work. Rintaro as a director is one of the best at ad adapting Tezuka in different mediums. Perhaps he has the most experience doing it. It's a simple tale that has less flair than dagger. You see people holding on to hatred and sorrow. It's being passed on, reincarnated. Gao's life is intertwined with sorrow and hatred. Dismay. Something that's pushed even further from the manga. He can't escape it, regardless of what happens in his life. In a flash, he finds something that regards tranquility. Love, maybe. But he ruins it all because of his callous paranoia and lack of care for the worth of a single life. The movie takes a change in perspective from the manga, focusing on Akamimaru as the main character. And they do adjust some of the interests. They streamline lots of plot elements to make them more focused on a standalone picture, which strict features onto the brutality of life and the politics around it, chasing a legacy that you can't keep. And barefoot again too, we have Akio Sakai as the character designer and animation director. And that style is brought over. This isn't a flashy movie, but it is one with a solid direction. It's appealing to look at. Not really taking too much from Tezuka's design, sort of modernizing them, among a few exceptions. What defines Phoenix in this situation is these two characters. Akame Maru is dedicated to the search for the Phoenix. He's looking for something to hold on to, something that will give his life meaning and purpose. He's a woodcarver. He meets a man called Gao, someone whose life has been dedicated to hatred, sorrow, and misfortune. Most of it, but we don't actually get to see in this version. He was cast out for being a one-armed baby, less fortunate, poor, leading him to a life of crime. And that is a simple tale, the ideologies between these two. They meet once many years before. Gao steals Akami Maru's possessions and injures one of his arms. Both of them find love, but it ends tragically. No one is safe in this picture. As the stories go on, their intertwined destinies become connected once again. Both seem to have lost the focus that they once had. Okumaru is chasing a statue of Buddha to mortalize himself for generations to come. Though the statue of Buddha is completely ironic to the statement that it's making. He's living in a town that has nothing but poverty and famine. Even then, he still continues, forced to complete it. Until he's challenged by an old friend. A contest of craftsmanship coming from two different schools. Okumaru loses the path, trying to take vengeance on the man that did him wrong, because he battered him in a feat of his own craftsmanship. This would be his undoing, as Gao is punished forever to suffer and continue on. He has no choice, becoming almost a monk figure, armless, living with nature. Akumaru becomes like the Oni that Gao painted himself as. In one fierce day of famine and heat, his statue sets alight, is so transfixed on what he'll leave behind, he ends up burning to death to be reincarnated as a small creature, and never to craft again. Karmic Retribution. Kanada makes another surprise appearance towards the end, using his great fire effects to bring the phoenix to life. There were another two OVAs that came out with Phoenix, but I haven't watched, so I can't say much about their quality. But if you like the story, then perhaps it would be good to read, read the, manga, the manga, if you can. I think it's out of print. Overall, it's short, potent, and beautiful. More people should watch Phoenix. It's now along. You should check it out. Just prepare for it to be um, not a happy experience.